Okay, we are recording. Okay, and I'm going to read the opening language. Pursuant, pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted by remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately address access the proceedings in real time by a technological means. And do we have any members of the public? No. No. So I don't have to read the public comment section. <laughs> okay. So then I will share my screen and get up the um, can we all see that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Make it a little bigger. Thank you. Okay. All right. So first thing then on the um, agenda is to approve the minutes from the last two meetings. So this is the April 21st, 2022 meeting minutes. And yes. I believe you guys both had those in an email. Mm -hmm. And then the second ones are the May 26, 2022 meeting minutes. And again, I think that you both have those in the email as well. Mm -hmm. I uh, move for, no, go ahead. Go ahead, Lee. Move for acceptance of both of those sets of minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, excellent. Then we will move along to our excise abatements. So here we have the uh, single excise abatement for calendar year 2022 for the week of 523 through flat book for the day of 523, 2022. Um, this abatement is in the amount of $69.68. Move uh, that our signatures be placed on, on that abatement. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, moving along, we have um, calendar week uh, five, nine, 5 9 through 5 20. You'll see one abatement for calendar year 2020 in the amount of $95.92. You will see two for calendar year 2021 in the amount of $188.24. And then there are 10 for calendar year 2022 in the amount of $684.31. All of those years added up with those abatements, totaling $968.47. Move for uh, placement of our signatures on the abatement from uh, May 9th through May 20th. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so here again, we have um, uh, week June 1st through June 10th, one abatement for calendar year 2020 in the amount of $19.39, two abatements for calendar year 2022 in the amount of $216.71, and 17 for calendar year 2022, uh, totaling $1,000. $406.21 for a total of all three years, $1,642.31. And move for approval of our signatures on this abatement from June 1st through June 10th. All those in favor? Oh, forgot the second. Second, second. <laughs> all, <laughs> all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, moving along. So, um, so refresh, refresh my memory, these abatements come from the state, is that correct? No, these are abatements that people have come into the office oh, to apply for. Okay. Um, for example, um, looks like this one, uh, the, the very top one and the next two and a bunch of the ones in 2022 were all a vehicle that was sold. Okay, um, somebody so come in and ask for an abatement for 2010? For 2010, no, you, you, it's too late. You only have uh, three years. Three years, okay. Three years, unless... Um, so if you have not paid an excise tax bill from 2010 and it's at the deputy collector and, and you maybe have been out of state, 
and you're coming back into state, you're not going to be able to register your vehicle until you pay that. So once you pay it, say you've gotten rid of that vehicle and you have all that proof that you've done so, um, and you did it in calendar year 2010, um, then you would be able to come to our office, provide that proof. After you've paid it, you get one year to process that abatement. Okay, got it. Thanks. No problem. All right, so the next thing on the list is the um, warrant to the collector for excise. So this is the file that has come to us from the Registry of Motor Vehicles. This is the third file that we've gotten this calendar year. This uh, committed amount, so the amount that we expect to collect is $106,717.63. You will see that here in bold. Um, this is the statement to the collector. And then again, you'll see here the same amount of money, uh, 1,006, whoops, that doesn't look like the same number. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, One, $106,717.63. This page here is for the uh, accounting office. And then you'll just see this final total here coming out of uh, Munis, so you can see that we entered it, and I'm highlighting that amount there because that is the amount that we are expecting to collect from this commitment. As you can see here, there are seven bills that are exempt, um, so they may be state-owned vehicles, um, town-owned vehicles, um, some um, entity that is tax-exempt, something to that nature. Um, so that's why you see that total highlighted there rather than the 112. So again, the amount that we're uh, expecting to collect and committing to the accounting office and the tax collector is the $106,717.63. Can you explain the exempts again? Sure. So um, there are a total of, let me see if I can, there's a total of 558 bills that have come to us from the Registry of Motor Vehicles. Mm -hmm. Seven of those vehicles are... um, Exempt. So those could be uh, state-owned vehicles. They could be, for example, they could be police cars. They could be fire trucks. Um, they could be ambulances. Um, if that's not what they are, they could be DBW vehicles. They could be um, an exempt entity. So someone who files with the state to be exempt and is approved um, then has to file with us um, to get exemptions such as excise and potential real estate abatements. Um, or I should say real estate exemption. Um, so this is this is something that would be approved by the state prior to getting to us. And what we do is we mark them exempt in the computer system so that we don't have to bill them and then abate the bill. Um, so at this point, oh, we okay. recognize that they're there, um, mm-hmm. but then we just, we mark them as exempt so that we're not billing for them. Okay move for that our uh, signatures be placed on the commitment. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, excellent. So we'll move on to um, a rollback tax. Now, um, you may recognize this because this was a property that we previously had billed for. Um, It's a property located on Montague, um, is it Montague Road? It's, it's, 63. And what it is, is there was a large, multiple large parcels that were in chapter 61. And um, there was, there was um, a solar farm that was put in onto the, to the property. What I didn't realize when I had originally done the rollback tax is that only a portion of this particular parcel was being removed from chapter. Um, so I had billed a rollback tax for the, the for the entire property. So this is a correction. Um, so this actual rollback tax for this parcel is on 1.65 acres and is in the amount of $1,560.97. This page here you see is for the tax collector. Uh, You'll see again the same amount um, here on the page for the accounting. And then you will see the lien that I actually um, put together here explaining um, 
what amount is what. Um, and so you'll see here down at the bottom, the uh, rollback actual tax and then the interest there is the $204. I, I remember the transaction or the where you, where you showed the maps and what's the, was going to be uh, actually a roll, uh, um, roll back. Um, do you remember it, Ken? Yes, I do. Yeah. OK, good. So uh, move that uh, our signatures be placed on this rollback uh, document. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. OK. Keep moving on. Oops, I'm sorry. This was just the page that, okay, so this page here actually is something that we will have you actually come in and sign. This is the uh, release of the chapter on the 1.65 acres that we'll send to the Registry of Deeds so that it can be recorded and, and it will adjust um, this parcel, I think. Yes, we're only releasing 1.65 acres here. Um, so what will happen is the Registry of Deeds will release that 1.65 acres and keep the remainder of the parcel in chapter 61. Um, so when, when you guys have a chance, if you can come in and sign this and then we'll have it notarized at, um, with the uh, town clerk's office and send it off to the Registry of Deeds. Um, would, would and, you need, do you need three signatures on this or? Um, nope, just two. Okay. I would, certainly, Other. if Rich wants to come and sign it as well, he can, yeah. but uh, we only need to have two. It's just somebody needs to tell Rich if you want him to come yeah. in. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. so. You're getting some all help right, so there, I am huh? going to stop sharing my screen for the moment because that's all the documents we have. Um, next on the agenda would be the, I'm just going to double check here. Um, You're getting, get, getting some help there, huh? I am. <laughs> He out of um, school for the summer? He no, he goes to um to daycare oh, three okay. days a week. So today's one of the days he's normally with his grandparents. So oh okay. Um, so the next thing is the um, assessor update. And uh basically what we're doing right now is working on building permits and getting ready to really ramp up our uh, end of the year uh projects to get our tax rates set. Um so we have, you know, we have our daily stuff, our excise, our, you know, phone calls, emails, all that stuff. Um, Trace has been working on getting the personal exemption applications ready to um, go out in the mail to those who have been approved in the past. Um, and I think uh, we'll be mailing those out the end of the month. Um, we can't accept them back until after July 1st, so we usually try to to wait and send them out so that people don't get confused and send them early. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, it's really, it's really been a lot of, you know, clean up, clean up the end of the year stuff and um, get ready to really start working on the, whoops. Yep, we lost Ken. We lost Ken. We'll have to pause for a moment until we get a quorum. Hmm. Hi, Teresa. Hi, how are you? Okay, and you? I'm okay. Good. Maybe Ken had enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to step away while we're waiting for Ken to come back. I'll be right back. Okay. A couple of weeks ago, I was involved in producing a webinar. Oh yeah. And we had a moderator. We were all remote and we had four panelists, everybody's remote. And the moderator was, you know, we were just ready to start at 630 and his computer went down. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> technology is technology's yeah, wonderful when it's working, right? right? Yeah. Wow. Luckily we had a script so that oh, we yeah. could, you know, we could keep it going after about five minutes. Or so. And he was transferring everything over to his wife's computer. So yeah, <laughs> it, wow. it took him a while. Yeah, it was, it, it was fun. It was fun. It's frustrating when that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder what happened to Ken. Yeah. It's weird. Uh, let me see if I can give him a call.
if I have his number. Yes, I do. I'm trying to call Ken. Okay. Hi, Lee. Hey, Ken. Uh, I lost power at the house here for like 30 seconds. Oh, okay. Out. So, so you I'm, can... trying to lock, I'm trying to lock back in. Okay, now. good. Okay, we'll stand yeah. by. That's funny. I wondered if that happened. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, hopefully that will be quick. We uh, will be able to go into executive session momentarily. again now okay so we should be recording yes you are i heard it okay all right so uh as i was saying um basically what we're doing right now is just getting ready for the uh the end of the fiscal year and all the inspections that we need to do i've been out doing some building permit inspections uh which are anybody who pulls a permit um, i go out and take a look to see what's been done um, there's been a lot of new construction, so we're um, looking at a, a good amount of new growth. Um, and so that's that's pretty much what's going on in the office right now. Um, so that's that's really the. All what about the here. state state review? How's that going? Um, so that is also just sort of uh, we've we've spoke with Lauren. She's been out to her office. She took record cards uh, that she had she had asked for, and she's done her part of the inspections. Um, the The rest of that really goes hand in hand with the end of the the count the fiscal year. Um, all the normal things we do, the inspections and things like that. Um, so that is is underway, but not too far into the process yet, just because it's just the timing of the year. Um, like I said, within the next month or two, we should really be well on our way with all of that. Uh, what about hiring somebody to help you with this? So we we put out a request for a bid uh, back a month or two ago, and we received one bid. Um, and so that was for Roy Bishop, uh, for Bishop Associates. And so he will be assisting us with this process. Okay. Is he also doing inspections to help you catch up on those? or? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's part of that contract. So he'll be helping us with um, any and all inspections that need to be done, and um, also just the end of the year, you know, gathering all of the reports and the information, um, putting that all together. Um, he'll be assisting with that as well. Okay. So, do you feel like you're sort of a little behind on the inspections from previous years because of COVID and stuff? And um, have a little just catch a up. little. Yeah. So there. Um, Every city and town throughout, well, probably, I mean, depending on the requirements, I don't know about each state, um, but at least in the state of Massachusetts, everybody's a little bit behind. Um, I don't think that anybody, or at least that we are far enough behind that we can't catch up on these. Um, and we do, we will be putting out uh, another bid for that particular, for the cyclicals, which is the 10 year program uh, where we have to inspect or at least attempt to inspect every property. Mm -hmm. um, and so, like I said, I don't think we're unreasonably far behind with that, um, but certainly, you know, 
something that we'll need to work on and something that assuming that uh, Roy will bid on that as well. And if he gets that bid, you know, something that we'll, we'll work on with him. Um, if it's someone else, again, it's something that the office will work with that firm to help get those inspections done in a more timely manner. So the tenure, do you have to be caught up by the end of the year or do you have more? Later? So it is. So this, this uh, tenure program has, we, the state has given out extensions. Okay. So we do have one extra year. Okay. However, okay. that means that the next round will only be nine years because we're getting that extension this year, which, which should be fine. There's no problem with that. Yeah. Um, Hopefully you but, won't have COVID again. Over the next I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Hopefully we won't have any odd situations like this where, you know, we, we can't do anything or go anywhere or, right. yeah. you know, so. Well, good. Yeah. Well, uh, what about the uh, tax, the residential exemption presentation? Any update on that? No. Uh, okay. No, but at this point, we're just waiting on the, um, the council to. Okay. Tell us when they want to, if they want to. Uh, could you please send us a draft of the presentation? That you have I'm right sorry, now? I meant to do that last week. Yeah. Yes, I will send you that, or yeah, last month. I, I apologize. That's all right. Good. There's a project going on. Uh, that's the corner of Southeast and well, near the corner of Southeast and 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 um, Maine. Um, you know what that is? It's right next to the to the. Uh, yeah, strip they, mall there. They don't put up any signs ever. Yeah, to what it is? It's right. it's right behind the Florence Bank. Exactly. Oh, oh, oh that's yeah. yes. Um, that is uh going to be an apartment building. Uh -huh. Um, it's possible that the bottom is going to be retail. It's it's a little bit I think up in the air right now. Uh -huh. Um, but that is is going to be a an apartment complex. Is that by uh -huh. Roberts or by somebody in town? No. Um. That's all right. I should know this property bit like the back of my hand because I just drew the sketch and I, it took me four days to get that sketch right because it's a funny shape. Oh. And then uh, we put the preliminary builds into the billing system the other day and that was the one that was causing an issue. So I should know oh, this that, one. That's but. all right. Don't worry about it. Yeah. It's been in the works for a long time. Yeah. It yeah. has. I think that there was, I think COVID really actually oh. hurt that because it should have been up and done by now. Yeah. Um, but I think the cost and just the you know supply and demand and um, the want to actually spend all that money to put up a building mm -hmm. was sort of halted. Um, mm -hmm. And now, obviously, as you can see, it started moving again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. All right. Moving on. Well, um, the next thing we can quickly discuss then is um, the, the next meeting time. Mm -hmm. Which, um, let me see. Calendars. So we are looking at July. Um, we can do, I won't be available the 21st, but I can do the rest of the month. Okay, so we're not going to do the 21st. Right. I mean, you guys could do it without that, me that, that's so good. to run the meeting, but that's, that's, that's good because that's my wife's birthday. Oh. Oh, well, we don't want to do that then. <laughs> right. so are, you you available, are you available that week, Kim? Or are you gone all no. week? All week? No, I'm gone all week that week. Okay. I don't so the following week? 28th? We could do, yeah, we could do that. Okay. The 28th? Yeah. yeah. And uh, is 9 o'clock working okay? Or 9.30, I should right. say? Yeah, it's okay. 9.30 sounds good. Yeah. All right, so then our next scheduled meeting will be July 28th at 9.30 a.m. Um, and so what we want to do now is go into executive session. We have an excise. Okay. Um, let me see, we have an excise abatement. Are you going to stop recording or? I will. Um, okay. We have two, two overvaluations and an excise abatement to discuss okay. during during. Um, executive session and then the intention is to um, end the meeting immediately after executive session. So we do not plan to come back into public section. Correct. Okay, so if we can do a motion to enter into executive uh, session and then I will stop recording. Uh, move to enter into executive session. Second. All those in favor? 
Aye. Aye. Okay, excellent. I will stop recording.